Hey everybody, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to build on the last video. This is part two of standing up with the Palo Alto and configuring HA. So what we're going to do is in this one we're going to configure HA. Um, so since the last video, what I did was I added a second Palo Alto firewall and I connected it to the management interface same way using set device config and I've also connected the Ethernet 1.4s and Ethernet 1.5 together on these Palo Altos for HA. So let's get into the configuration here. So we can go here 0 0.123. Let's log in there. And let's log into 124. So this is the second one. Okay, so now we are logged into both of these firewalls. It's taking a little bit of time to come up. Okay, there we go. We're going to say, I'm going to close that. Do not show again. Not now. Remind me later for tele telemetry data. Let's go to firewall two. So this is PAHA1. This is PAHA2. It shows the name up there. So I did configure the name, and I'll show you where we do that. Okay. Let's close that. Remind me later. Okay. So we'll go to PAHA1. Go to Device. Go to Setup. And here's where you'd put in the host name. You'd click this right here and set up the host name at that point. So that's really all that's been done to these. There's just a management IP. There's nothing anywhere else. There's no Ethernet design set up. Uh, so nothing's really set up. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get those Ethernet 1.4 and 1.5. So we're going to use those, and I'll show you where for high availability. So if we go to high availability, and HA1 is a control link, and HA2 is the data link. So we're going to use 1.4 for the control, 1.5 for the data link. And that's what we're going to do here. So first thing we have to do is go to network, go to 1.4, and change it from tap interface to HA. So that's what we're going to do. HA interface. And we're going to do the same thing on 1.5. Okay. So that is done. Uh, let's commit that. Let's do the same thing on HA2 while we're here. So let's go to network. 1.4. Change that to HA. One five. Change that to HA. And then we can use these in our high availability setup. Commit that. Okay, let's go back to HA one. The commit should just about be done. It's at ninety nine percent. Let's wait for that to complete. And there, it's complete. So close that. So now we're going to go to device. So under device, high availability. So the general, on the general tab, what we want to do is go to this, click edit. We're going to enable HA. We're going to give it a group ID. And the ID we're going to give it, we're going to give it ID of five. 
and the peer IP address, HA1, we're going to set this to 10.60.1.2. So that's what we're going to use, 10.61.2. So we're going to use the 10.61 slash 24 for HA1, and we're going to use 10.62 slash 24. Let's, let's make a note of that. So HA1 will be 10.60.1.0 slash 24. HA2 will be 10.60.2.0 slash 24. You don't really need a 24. You can use a, a 30. You, you just need uh, two addresses on these, but we're just going to use these right now. So HA1, HA2. So that's our setup there. So, okay. So we click OK on that. And the peer address is there. So that's the address that should be set on PAHA2. Okay. Next thing we do, where that's in general, um, let's make sure, let's see if there's anything else we want to change. Uh, device priority, let's change that. So we want this to be the preferred firewall as long as it's up. So we're going to set that to 75. Lower is better. We're going to make it preemptive and heartbeat backup. And we'll leave the timer settings, the recommended ones. Let's see. Yeah, we'll do the recommended. Okay. Now the next step is to go to HA Communications and HA1, we're going to configure that. So HA1 is going to be our 1.4 and you see how 1.4 and 1.5 show up here because they've been set. So this is going to be 10.60.1.1.24 Oh, we don't need that there. That should not be there. Let's go here, 255, 255, 255.0. We don't need a gateway because it's going to be on the same. It's it's connected directly, so we do not need a gateway here. So OK to that. And then we're going to go to our data link, and we're going to configure that. So the port for the data link is going to be 1.5, IP address 10.60.2.1, netmask 255.255.255.0, no gateway again. Um, that's all we need there. Okay, that's set up. Link and path monitoring, we don't need anything right now. Let's commit this. Okay, while that's committing, let's go over to HA2. And that commit was done. So let's go to device, HA. And we're in the general. So let's go here. We'll enable HA. We're gonna use the same group ID. It should be the same. Active passive. Enable config sync. And this, the IP address is 10.60.1.1. So that's the IP address of HA of PA HA1. The firewall HA1 on the HA1 address, if that makes sense. Uh, we're going to click OK there. Again, we're going to go to device priority. We're going to keep that at 100 because firewall 1 is set to 75, which is going to be preferred. RP backup and OK. All right, so that is configured. Let's go to HA Communications and go into HA1. Again, we're going to use 1.4 for HA1. IP address 
So this is going to be 10.60.1.2 255, 255.0. Okay. And for HA2, the data link, again, we're going to use Ethernet 1.5. And this will be 10.60.2.2. Netmask 255.255.255.0. 255, no gateway again. And OK. So that should be the configuration. Let's commit this. Let's see if we missed anything. Let's go back to HA1. So here, this commit's done. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's add under here the high availability widget. And there we go. So now you can see local is active. Um, everything's orange or red because it hasn't been, it hasn't connected yet. It's this is still committing. You can see the commit is still in progress on HA2. But once that is done, this should come up. We can see some HA group five, some some system logs starting to show some information. Let's look at HA2. This is completed. Let's also put the widget over here. So we go to system HA. And here you can see that this should start syncing. So let's uh, let's update that. Click there. All right. And the running config not synchronized. So let's push that running config. Are you sure you want to overwrite the running configuration on the HA peer with the running config on this device? Yes, we do. So that should be at this point. Synchronization is in progress. Let's go to HA2. And we should see we still see not synchronized at this point. So it's synchronizing the config from HA1, which really there's not much configed on there. There's really nothing that needs to be sent over, very little. So this shouldn't take too long. Let's see how that's going. Synchronized, that's good. Um, this should also, this also shows synchronized. So now the firewalls are synchronized. You can see that the active firewall is this one, the peer 124 or 123 is passive. And if we go over here, we see the local is passive. The active one is 123. So that's it for configuring HA on a Palo Alto firewall. So the next step, We'll be adding some config. We're going to connect this into the switch here and down to this switch here. And we'll end up continuing our replacement of these Cisco firewalls. So thank you for watching.